Hey gang, welcome back to Pretty Girl Gang TV where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. I can't. It's your girl Janina here and I am back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing a brand new foundation girl that just hit the market about a week or two ago. It is from Bite Beauty. And let me tell you guys, girl, let me tell y'all, I have been anticipating this foundation launch. As soon as Bite Beauty announced that they were coming out with a complexion product, girl, I was there, okay? I was like, when, where, drop the date, drop the time, and I'm on my way, okay? So this new foundation that we are going to be talking about is Bite Beauty's Changemaker Foundation. And this is how the box looks here. And don't you just love that name, girl? Changemaker? Like, come on. Come through. Come through 2020, okay? Changemaker. We are making a change here, okay? That's what I need. I need a change in 2020, girl, okay? Anyway, it is called the Changemaker Foundation. And it is supposed to be a Sephora Clean product. If you guys don't know what the clean products are, it's supposed to be like no parabens and just clean formula in general it's like clean makeup this is how it looks outside of the packaging this is it right here it's in a little squeezy tube here which makes it a little safer better than glass you know so if you drop it it won't break i'm not a fan of squeezy tubes but i mean it is what it is girl okay i feel like more brands are leaning towards squeezy tubes i don't know if it's environmental friendly or if it's just more convenient i don't know I'm not a fan of squeezy tubes, and I am in the shade T110. Since we're on the subject of shades, girl, let's talk about the shade range, okay? Because I'm not gonna lie, I was shook with the shade range, okay? The shade range to me was pretty good, okay? They had different little sections. It was light, medium, dark, tan, dark sections, and I felt like they were evenly spread out. There were 32 shades all together, okay? And I actually had two different shades that could have worked for me. Actually, I would say three. I had three different shades that could have worked for me. I got this one in T110 because it's a little bit more warmer, as you can see in the tube. It's a little bit more warmer. I like my foundation on a yellow golden warm side. They did have another one, which was T120, and that one was more of a neutral side. I really, really liked that one, girl, when I was shade matching myself in Sephora. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I went straight to Sephora. I was in Sephora swatching a bunch of these tan shades and I felt like the T120 was just a little bit too neutral for me. It was pulling a little gray on me and I felt like it just didn't match my neck. When I find my foundation, I like it better to match my neck. So I felt like T110 matched my neck better. I also could have did T130, but it was more on the red orange side and I don't like red orange tones on me. So that's why I chose T110, but I was super duper impressed that I had a range of shades that I can use. Okay, so I'm just putting that out there. I feel like the shade range for Bite Beauty was great. Reading some of the claims on the box here, it says skin like finish you crave, the clean formula you deserve medium coverage okay short and sweet okay so i guess we're gonna get a skin like finish natural coverage okay medium coverage girl so that was short and sweet that's all it says there on the box so all we need to do is go ahead and test this baby now i am not going to do a wear test today girl because it is really late okay i'm getting started really late in the day it's about eight o'clock at night i'm just going to show you guys overall how this foundation Applies, how it plays with my other products and how it covers and everything else when I normally do in my foundation reviews okay so if you guys are ready to see the bite beauty change maker foundation in action girl keep on watching usual I already have my eyes already done and glamorous girl because we are gonna focus solely on bite beauty's new change maker foundation okay and if anybody was wondering girl this is like my little red glittery look I am going to be wearing a cute little cheetah print outfit today so I can take pictures in so I decided to do like a red glitter inspiration outfit girl I don't know I was just inspired by this palette here if anybody was interested this is the let's rendezvous amongst the stars palette by glitter realm it is an indie brand they have an Instagram page I will definitely link it down below if you guys are interested in this palette it's really really cute okay I will show you guys how it looks not sponsored I did buy this with my own money I'm just a stand girl because look at this 
look. Oh my God. Colors are so good, girl. Okay, it was pigmented, it was bold. I love this glitter, okay. So I will link this down below if you guys are interested. So Bite Beauty's Change Maker Foundation does not claim to be a mattifying foundation. It claims to be a skin-like foundation. And when I did swatch it in Sephora, it did seem kind of on the luminous side of foundation. So today for primer, I have decided I'm going to use the Becca Evermatte Poreless primer just to keep it a little matte because like I said I am throwing on a cute little dress girl so I can take pictures so I do want my makeup to kind of stay on a little bit okay even though it is the colder months I still produce a little bit of oil not as much but I still want my foundation to last girl now that we're all primed and prim, girl, we're going to go in with Bite Beauty's Changemaker Foundation in the color T110. That's the color I picked out. And T110 was described as like tan with golden undertones or like yellow undertones. And it does have a little seal here, which is good, but bad for my nail. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out there and we'll just see how much this takes us here. I'll start with that much. And right off the bat, mm, it has a really like clean smell. So I'm gonna take my Sephora number 88 foundation brush and I'm just gonna buff her in there. And it's kind of drying a little fast, girl. So let me, I might have to work fast. Yeah, it feels like it's drying down pretty quickly. And this foundation is classified as medium coverage. It didn't even say medium to buildable, did it? No, it just says medium coverage. Normally foundations say medium to full or medium buildable, but this just says medium. So we're definitely gonna need some more, but those few little squirts, girl, kind of covered the entire half of my face. But I do still see some imperfections peeking through and we need to get the top of our forehead. So I'm going to squirt out a few more squirts there. And because it's in a squeezy tube, I can't even tell you if it's like equivalent to pumps or one or two pumps or what, girl. So I'm basically just squeezing this out and applying it to my face, so... And this Sephora 88 foundation brush is a little stiff and a little harder. So I feel like it's good for these type of foundations to kind of um, make it a little bit more full coverage because the bristles are very dense and very densely packed together. And this is how she's looking so far, girl. So far, so good. I feel like it went on evenly, it spread evenly, but I feel like I need a little bit more on my forehead. I'm a full coverage girl, okay? So I need full coverage makeup. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my forehead. Currently, I feel like it's covering up pretty much um, all of my perfections, okay? I might go in with a little bit more on my cheeks area. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's add a little bit more to my forehead first. Okay, so that little bit took care of my forehead concerns, girl. Okay, I feel like I'm evenly coated and covered. And I'm going to tell you, girl, I feel like this is a pretty good color match. Like I said, I feel like this color matched my neck better than it matched my overall face because my face has been getting a lot lighter lately from this East Coast cold weather and the winter time. So I feel like this is a really good match. Um, first impressions of the foundation on my face, it is giving me like a skin type natural look. Not so luminous like I thought it would. It's just more of like a natural skin type look. Okay, I do like mattifying foundations. So we will actually put some powder on this, I feel like. I feel like I need to powder it down. But I do like it, okay? It did coat all of my imperfections, my hyperpigmentations. You can't see anything peeking through there. You can see my little pimple there, but I can't see any like hyperpigmentation peeking through at all. 
I also will say that it's weightless, girl. I know it didn't say that in the claims. It didn't say like, oh, girl, you know, this foundation is weightless. But I definitely can't feel anything in my skin. It really does feel like a clean foundation because that's what it's classified in the Sephora clean section. So it really does feel very clean, weightless, and cute, girl. Okay. So now that we've laid the foundation out, girl, I am going to put all my other products. I like to show the part where I put all my other products when I have a new foundation because I like to make sure my new foundations play nice with my products that I use on a daily all the time. So I'm going to use a little bit of concealer and the concealer of my choice today I'm going to use is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealers. Okay, you guys know I use two colors. Okay, this is in the color Caramel and this is in the color Sucre. So we're going to go with some concealer underneath the eyes. And girl, looking at this foundation now, I feel like it's a tad bit light. I feel like it's oxidizing a little bit, so I feel like I'll be okay. And then I can like manipulate it with some bronzer, but it's a tad bit light for me, girl. Like maybe because I'm just not used to seeing my skin so light. I'm telling you, these, these winter months have been like, <laughs> they've been a change for me, girl, okay? I'm from California, so I am not used to any like real live winter weather, okay? It's always about 70 degrees in my hometown, okay? So I am just using my little Morphe concealer brush and I am buffing that concealer out. And we're gonna add some more on the chin there and on my forehead. I don't know why I don't do it all at the same time. I feel like I can't work fast enough and I feel like the concealer is gonna dry. So I'm like very meticulous and I work in like sections, girl, I know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like super like old school or something, okay? I'm not like any of you whippersnappers going all, you know, ham and putting the makeup everywhere and just <laughs> blending it out, girl, I need some time, okay? I need some time. And I'm just taking my foundation brush, girl, and I'm just gonna kind of buff out the lines so I won't have any like harsh lines there. Now I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna dip into my OG Sasha Buttercup in the color light and I'm gonna bake under my eyes. I am gonna bake this time. It's crazy because normally when I do my makeup tutorials, girl, I normally don't bake. I'll just kind of like push some powder into my skin. But today I'm gonna bake because this foundation is a natural finish. And I am kind of a matte girl, so I kind of want to be matte. So we're going to bake. Woo! Got to love it when the powder gets everywhere, right? All of my brow. Come on. Jeez. Janina. Be careful, girl. Be careful. I'm going to use some contour, and this is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the color tan. It is the darker color because I kind of want to get some really snatched cheekbones. That's the color right there. And I'm telling you, a little goes a long way with this Tantor, girl. Like, as you can see, the Tantor don't be playing, girl. Dusting off that bake we got going on there. And so far, everything is looking beautiful and mattified. Now I'm going to set my entire face with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. I really like this bronzer, even though it's not much of a bronzer on me. I use it as an all over face shade because I feel like it's kind of my skin tone. I just love the gold reflectance in it. It just gives my skin kind of like a gold reflectant popping look. So I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush. And go all over my face with it. I'm gonna add a little touch of highlight, girl. And I have been really crushing on the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze. And I'm using the color Jet Girl today. It's like a pretty peach color. I'm just gonna go on my nose. Ooh, and look at that, girl. <laughs> oh my God, it's so pretty. So pretty. Down the bridge of my nose. It just looks so good. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, girl. 
And last but not least, I'm gonna go with a super bold red look, and this is in the color Mon Cherry by Beauty Bakery, and this is by far my like favoriteest red ever. Look at that, oh, gosh, so good. It's like one of those reds that you need. Everybody needs like a really good red, you know? And this is my really good red right here. Um, I don't know how I feel about this red on red thing I got going on here. This red eyeshadow glitter as well as this red lipstick. I feel like it's just a lot of red, a lot of stuff going on, girl. But anyway, we are going to come back with my final thoughts after I get dressed. And we will talk about this new Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation, okay? Okay guys, so I just zhuzhed my hair up a tad bit and I threw on my little cheetah print dress from Femlux. No, this video is not sponsored by Femlux, but they did kindly send me some outfits. I've actually been working with Femlux for about two months now and I work mostly with them on Instagram. They send me a few outfits, so I am a part of their bloggers PR list. Thank you so much Femlux for sending me outfits. So anyway, they send me outfits and then I do take pictures and post for the gram. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Now, let's get into my final thoughts of this Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation, girl. How are we thinking? How are we feeling? Okay, do you guys like this look? Okay, so how I'm feeling about this foundation, girl, I am feeling so good about this foundation. Just like I thought, I knew Bite Beauty was going to deliver, girl. I like Bite Beauty, okay? I like their lippy things. And like I said in the beginning of this video, girl, when I knew Bite Beauty was going to launch a complexion product, a foundation, I knew that I was going to get it. Bite Beauty is actually a really good brand. So my final thoughts on this foundation, girl. I feel like the shade range was great. Like I said, in each section, which was like light, medium, tan, dark, they had an even amount of shades. I feel like a lot of different shades could have worked for me. Like I said, three different shades could have worked for me. As you can see, the color is nice, okay? It was a little light, I will admit. It did go on a tad bit light, but I feel like it oxidized. And also, I feel like with our contour and our powder and everything, it just matches. It looks really, really good. I did mattify it because it was kind of a natural finish, not glowy, but a natural finish. So I did mattify it with some Too Faced powder and it did work. It looks pretty matte. It looks really, really good on the skin, girl. It's very weightless. I do not feel anything. And it's clean makeup, girl. It's considered clean makeup at Sephora, so it's obviously good for your skin. For you girlies who don't like fragrance in your foundation, I feel like this is not going to be bad. It does have a teeny bit of a scent, but it's like a natural clean type of scent. It's not like Huda Beauty where it's just overwhelming and overpowering. It's just like a clean natural scent. And when I put it on my face, it did like dissipate. You know, it doesn't linger on. It doesn't smell anymore. It just kind of dissipates. So I feel like you girlies who have a problem with fragrance on um, foundation, I don't think this is going to be a problem at all. It doesn't bother me. But for the girls that it does, I feel like this is not going to be a problem problem at all. Now, medium coverage, yes, I would classify this as medium coverage, but buildable. Okay, so I did put, I don't know, four or five maybe equivalent pumps to this because it is in a squeezy tube, girl, so I couldn't tell you how many pumps that it actually squeezed out of it, but I feel like I did maybe four or five equivalent pumps if it was a pump and it did cover everything on my face as you can see there's nothing peeking through all of my flaws are completely covered girl and we like that okay we like glam foundation over here even if it's a medium glam okay we like it to be buildable so i will say that this foundation is medium to buildable it's playing nice with my products as you can see nothing is going on my products that i normally use glided on perfect meshed perfect my powder meshed perfect my concealer meshed perfect everything meshed perfect with this foundation now i didn't mention that along with this foundation launch bite beauty did also launch primers okay i think a mattifying and a hydrating primer 
as well as powders. I did not pick any of that up. I feel like when you buy a foundation, girl, no matter how much it is, whether it's low end or high end, I feel like it should be able to play good with your current primers and powders that you already use. I'm not really a person that believes in kind of buying the entire system for it to work. I feel like it should already work. And it did, it worked just fine without their specific powder and primers. With my own powders and primers, it worked great and yeah that's it guys that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up comment let me know how you feel about the bite beauty change maker foundation are you gonna go out and get it are you gonna go out and try it do you already have it girl let me know in the comment section down below if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel become a part of the pretty girl gang 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 okay we are known as the girl gang here on this channel and when you do subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell just so you can be notified every time the gang posts a video okay so i will talk to you guys in my next video bye bye